Good morning. Let's get going here. Hello and welcome back. If you are just joining us, my name is Hoon. My channel is all about making better coffee at home. So this is my third time trying. Uh, it's called X Bar Espresso Maker. Okay. So finally, I got the CO to figure it out. So hopefully, we're gonna uh, we are going to make some better coffee this morning. Okay. So the problem was if you are, uh, if you are just joining us for the first time. So this is an X Bar Espresso Maker. It's powered by the bike pump or CO2 cartridges. And then I know some of you already saw, man, you know what? So this is a, a initially I got, I got it first. So this one uh, made by ISI, I believe. So this is not working with, it's not work with this one. So I ended up getting another cartridge as well. So, so I got this one from Amazon. Uh, let's maybe, uh, uh uh, I think I'm gonna put the link down below, okay? But you have to get the right cartridges. So this is an eight gram. So this is an 8.4 gram. But the, the thing was, as you can see, they are identical, okay? Identical there. So I don't know why this one wasn't working, but yeah, as you can see from here, man, look and feel the same thing. But you know what? Uh, we know this one works. So let's make some coffee, okay? Finally, I think we got figured out how you, I'm just gonna heat up uh, the water, boiling temperature, that's what we're gonna do. I've been warming up my, uh, the x water chamber as well. So this is a manual machine, uh, pretty much all manual except the CO2. Uh, if you are kind of like new to manual motion, you have to warm everything up. So you have to use the hot water, hot water as possible, and also I'm uh, heating up the water chamber. By the way, this cartridges is one and done. Okay, once you put it in, you pull the shot, you cannot reuse next day because. So I was doing so I was doing some uh, testing done last night. I pulled about maybe two shots. I was hoping to get another maybe a couple more shots this morning. All leaked. Okay, so I mean if you are uh, environmentally conscious. CO2 is not the best option, okay? I wish uh, they're gonna come up with a better one. I'm hoping uh, x is going to come up with, uh, I think, uh, adapter for the like soda stream. Uh, the soda stream has a really refillable CO2 bottle there. I I'm hoping they're gonna come up with this because every time if you are making coffee, just waste. So this is not the, personally, it's not the best way to go. Okay, but meantime, Let's uh, make some coffee here. So this morning I'm going to be using uh, it's, uh, coffee beans called on it, and they are really dark roast. So we're going to try that. I'm just going to lock it in first, and then let's measure. Uh, let's do like 21 gram. Okay, and we don't. We are going to do the 21 gram shot. So okay, let's do 21 gram shot here. So everything is all nice and hot, all ready to go. So let's get going. Okay. I'm gonna do 21 gram. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning. Okay. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning here. It's beautiful out in Tucson this morning. Okay. Uh, comes to grinder setting, I, I usually set around like, I mean, if you guys have a niche grinder, darker roast, around like 17 or 18 for the grinder setting there. Oh. Okay, so let's get going. This thing's nice and hot. You know what, maybe I can give you guys a better view here. Hold on. Okay. Because... Maybe nice to show you guys the what I'm doing. Do 
There we go. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to, I'm going to heat up the final one more time for the water. I'm just going to distribute a little bit. Everything's all nice and hot, so we are good to go. Okay. So water is ready. I got the coffee beans ready. So this is 58 millimeter pori filter. So coffee pox to lock it in. And we'll lock it in like so. Okay. Hot. That is pretty hot there. And the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to lock in the CO2. Just make sure all everything is closed. So let's check it. You guys hear that? Okay, so CO2 is working. Yep. Okay, we got nice and hot water. Put it in there. I mean, it comes to workflow, it's pretty simple. It's not too bad. I mean, I like the workflow. It's pretty easy. Lock it in tight. Pretty much it, guys. Okay, so let's pull the shot. Okay, I'm just gonna... You know, I wish I can show you guys the bottom. Hold on, you know what? Maybe I can do this. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to get the right angle. I'm going to start time when I see the first drop there. Okay. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to release pre-infusion first. A little bit of gas. I'm going to pre-infusion. Couple bars for like a couple seconds. And then go up to nine bar pressure. Nine bar there. I'm gonna stop. Oops. Okay, so 66 gram, it's okay. It's pretty fast though. So I think so I got 66 gram. I mean, did you see that how fast? the shot was, which means I need to adjust my grinder setting. Because I know some of you saw, uh, goodness, couple what, a couple days ago, hold on. And then I didn't get the enough bar pressure, but with this CO2, they give you the really good pressure. I mean, you can actually control the pressure. Uh, shot wasn't that great, but uh, comes to workflow wise, I think we are getting very close. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna try one more time, okay? But before, uh, let's try this. Let, let's try the shots. Cheers. Okay. Again, it's under extracted. But now we know uh, the one thing we have to do is we have to change the grinder side. So uh, using this coffee machine, you know, this coffee maker versus Brista Express does make a difference. We have to play with the grinder size. So. Let's do that one more time. Uh, comes to cleaning up, pretty easy. Just make sure undo the top. Just take it out. Obviously, water chamber is empty. Okay, I'm just gonna toss it into the sink there. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, take out the portal filter. Just make sure, be careful, it's uh, uh, pretty hot. But as you can see from here, copy pucks. They're nice dry, okay? I mean, it works pretty good. A cleanup is so easy. You just top it in, done. I mean, that one is, I, I mean, it comes to cleanup uh, section, I really like it. They're really easy to use. Okay, 
So we know that the grinder size is too coarser. So I'm going to change my grinder size earlier. We are at the number 17. Go down to number maybe 15 here. Okay. And then let's do that one more time. Uh, I'm going to put another 21 gram. All right. I mean, I feel a little better about this machine so far. Uh, except uh, the, the CO2 though, it's such wasteful. So anyway, so let's do that one more. Okay, got there. Uh, by the way, I'm using the, it's called Ancom coffee canister, the vacuum seal. Okay, we adjust the grinder size. But meantime, I'm going to heat up the water one more time. Because again, it's all about the heat. So this chamber is still hot right now, so we are good to go. Okay. I'm just going to pump. So I think we are good to go here. We gotta try one more time. The water is boiling nicely. I'm just going to do, uh, I'm using my puck rake to distribute like so. Again, this is a little tedious process, but you know what? It does pay off. Okay. 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 I'm going to lock it in. Okay, if you guys want to, you can actually use the uh, E61 group head as well. But I guess I really like using just this portion of it. Okay, so let's give it one more time. Water is ready. There we go. It's gonna lock. Make sure to take your time to lock it in properly. Okay. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay. So this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna. I'm going to give you guys properly. Just gonna focus on the shot here, shot time. I'm not gonna worry about the bottomless shot. Hold on. Here we go. I think I'm gonna be again the time the shot. Okay. Oh, good. I think you guys can see it there. Excellent. I'm just going to give it a pre-infusion, about a couple of bars. Maybe about three bar pressure, go up to nine bar. I'm going to stay nine bar there and then good I'm gonna shut it up release the gas just like that I think we got it I'm just gonna release the rest of the gas good so we have this beautiful shot not bad okay I think I'll just make sure. I think we can do about two or three shots on this one. Perfect. I mean, what do you guys think? Okay, what do you guys think about this machine so far? I mean, eh, comes to workflow, it's not too bad. Uh, once you play with more, I think you're gonna have some fun with it. But oh, that second, yeah, let's taste. Okay. It's gonna be a lot better than first one, so. 
uh, CO2 works the best. Cheers. It's good. I mean, just like what I expected. Uh, comes to shock quality. As long as you manage the, your thermal there, the heat, uh, make sure you heat up everything nice and hot. I mean, you're gonna get some really good shots. But so far, okay, so far, using CO2, I think it's the best way to go. But here's the thing though, again, I mean, I always go back to the kind of like the recyclability or kind of sustainability. It's not sustainable. I mean, so this, this, can, uh, this box of 10 cost about what, $10. But, which means each cartridge costs you about $1. I mean, it's not the money I'm worried about. So every time I use this, I have to throw it away. So you, you cannot uh, refill this. So it's not like I can save it for tomorrow. I can reuse it. So, and I think I bet you, so so far we make two shots. Okay. I still have some CO2 there. So I bet you I can do three shots on this one. So maybe two, three shots. So definitely, th uh, definitely two, maybe three coffee. So if you have family of three, family of four, Maybe you can make some, you know, milk-based drink as well. Uh, something like this. Maybe get a like nano former. You can actually make pretty good latte. Okay. But comes to, again, I'm always go back to that. You know, I mean, I hate to waste uh, these cartridges, but that's the, I'm, that's the only option we have at the moment. Until they're gonna come up with the kind of like. Uh, the soda stream, one of those big bottles of CO2, that's we can refill it. But I'm hoping uh, they're gonna come up with that adapter uh, soon. But uh, comes to price, is very attractive. I think uh, they start the Kickstarter, what, yesterday or this, uh, this morning? So, uh, Oliver Special, uh, I think Vincent say 169 for this, okay, 169. And I think you can use a bike pump as well. So yeah, I mean, it's not too bad overall. So uh, if you have any questions or comment, my wife is looking at the question there, so. People are saying it's kind of wasteful with the cartridges. Oh yeah, I mean definitely. I mean so I mean I don't blame you about uh, the waste wastefulness of this CO2 cartridges. It is wasteful. But I mean goodness, I mean what do you guys think? Is that so? This is a legit coffee machine, you guys think, or I'm questioning back to you. Is more like gadgets, okay? But comes to shot quality, is good. Yeah, they are good shots. So coffee is good. Can you use nitrogen, nitrogen gas cartridge? I mean, I bet you can use a nitrogen gas cartridge as well because why not? You know, because the CO2, but nitrogen is more expensive and obviously the CO2 is cheaper. So, uh, let's see, anything? Um, are we good? So I, I saw super chat thing, why not? Yeah, Florian. Hey, Florian. I think Florian give us a super chat thing. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. So, oh, so by the way, so all the super chat, uh, I'm gonna put that uh, put that money to to uh, E61 Group uh, coffee machine uh, sometime. So hopefully, hopefully this year though. Okay, hopefully this year. So, I mean, thank you so much for the supporting the channel. By the way, right? It's been it's been a lot of fun there. Uh, so if you haven't seen, make sure follow me on Instagram, okay? If you haven't find, uh, follow me on Instagram, make sure uh, follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of uh, behind the scene. And this morning, I took you guys up to the Sabina Canyon in Tucson, did some little walk there. So yeah, just make sure follow me on that. Uh, um, Dane says... Dane has comment? Says, maybe you can do nitro brew with cold water. Okay, so Dane asked me, uh, nitro, okay, Dane, uh, Okay, I'm getting a, uh, we, we are, we are do, going to do another unbox coming up, but that's related to Nitro. So, uh, I can't wait to share that with you. So hopefully, next couple of days, let's find out, okay? I'm going to find out. So, we're going to do some unboxing the Nitro Zen related products. So, it's going to be fun. Okay. Marshall says, E61 is definitely better than this machine. So, Marshall, Marshall is, you know what? E61 is much better than this one for sure. Okay, I mean E61 is better than Bravo Barista Express or Pro. I mean, there's no comparison. There are, there are machine. 
Okay, machine versus this one. This is cool. Okay, this is cool. But is that sustainable day after day? I mean, extremely well built, but price of 169, 170, pretty good. Not bad. Um, Not bad at all. David asked, can so, you use a... Um, Dave has, uh, okay. Can you use a manual bunk, bunk, bike pump? Yes, uh, Dave asked us, uh, can, can I use a manual pump? Yes, you can use a manual bike pump as well. So, I mean, they're designed for that, okay? They're designed to use the manual bike pump. Yeah, so yes, yes you can. I think the Matt from <laughs> Lifestyle Lab, uh, Matt, uh, he tried with a uh, bike pump. Uh, he told me he got a nine bar pressure, so yeah. I mean, it comes to, the overall design is pretty clever. Uh, very clever design. You know what, that looks good, well built. You know, again, Somehow we can come up with a refillable cartridges. It'd be awesome. Maybe you guys should work on that. We do have a question about Breville. Okay, someone has a question about Bravo. It's from, um, oh, uh, just by the way, oh. 169 sold out, now 179 and 25 shipping to USA. What is? About, I think, the 9 bar. Okay, 9 bar or X bar? Or X bar, rather. So X bar. Yeah, so I mean, so, so far, 169 sold already i mean that's quite a bit okay it doesn't sound like a lot but man i mean that's i mean that's quite a bit there i'm still waiting for the ross from the uh oe1 the odyssey express maker so i'm hoping to love to see that one that's kind of like similar to the flare 58 millimeter so i mean that has a built-in steamer as well so that's the one i'm really looking forward to Uh, Are we looking at a new machine, new tools? I mean, so again, the super chat money, you know, wh whatever we raise, and, and you know, wh who, uh, some point I'm gonna match that money, so I'm planning on getting that, the machine. Okay, the ideally, I love to get a like, you know, really, really nice machine, but uh, my channel is not about the fancy machine because I want to uh, showcase the machine that, you know, it's kind of like we can actually get someday okay I mean, i'm not looking for ten thousand dollar coffee machine so i'm looking at like e61 group i mean like rocket makes pretty good machine as well i mean that's about what uh 15 1600 dollar machine so something like that like rocket apartmento is pretty good price range i think a quick mirror sells some uh e61 group the uh machine as well the, that's about same price range so i'm looking around two thousand dollars because Still a lot of money. I know some of you out there owns like Lillette Bianca or Lydia Mini. Uh, what else? I think uh, Marshall has like Bazel Duo. They are extremely, I mean, well-built, fantastic machine. But again, I mean, buying, spending two, I mean, even $3,000 plus you're going to spend under the $700 on coffee grinder. Now you're bumping up to like four or five grand for a coffee set up so no i mean some other channel maybe my channel is because i want you guys to make better coffee okay and then i think i think i'm gonna set a limit at like two grand but uh, i'm trying to find the best machine under two thousand so that's my goal so you're gonna get a thousand and then you'll match it and then uh, hopefully uh, you know maybe i can get you know maybe i can match with you guys i don't know uh, let's find out still a long way to go but it's gonna be fun but definitely i need you guys an input for that the machine, okay? And then hopefully we can pick it out together. It's, it's only a handful of machine out there. So I already own Rancholia Serbia already with built-in PID. So I was looking at the Rancholia Serbia Pro, but they're dual boiler, but I already have it. So and Rancholia Serbia, so it's not, I want something different, okay? Uh, to show you guys, more like, I don't know, Rocket is, man, I think Rocket is top of my list at the moment. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you have think about other machine under two grand, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comment section as well. So, uh, Nail Love has a question. Who? Nail. Nail. Nail Love. 
Love has a question. Okay. I can't get my Breville machine to make shot of coffee or froth milk. It has water coming out, but it's not right. Do you have any idea on what could be wrong? I've cleaned and descaled it already. Man, it sounds like the Nair Love has issues with the machine, okay? Because they should work. They should work, especially steaming. The steam, I mean, if you uh, try this at home, okay? Try this. Uh, hold on, let me turn this one off. I'm gonna put back in my machine here, rubber machine. Uh, try it at home. Uh, use the non-pressurized -pressure, uh, baskets, okay, ne uh, nail, nail, and then uh, use the pressurized baskets. Make sure you have pressure coming out, and also check out your steamer as well. Check out your steamer too. So, hold on. Okay, much okay. If I'm using the Brista Pro. Is already on, but Brista Express, we have to wait a little bit. So steam, make sure you have the steam coming up. Because you should be able to get steams. Okay, I mean, if you don't get the steam, if you don't hear the pump, now you can hear the pump there, okay. So which means the pump is working. If, if you don't hear it, which means it's not working. So make sure to check it out. Make sure to check the pressurized bas or use the pressurized baskets. And then just, uh, just use the pump. Uh, just make sure it's working. Okay, uh, anything else this morning? We've got Justin did a super chat. We got Justin did a super chat. Who else? Dane. Dane again. Yeah. Thanks, Dane. John. John. Perfect. Okay, so the, the reason why, kind of, I, I know you guys have been asking me for years, uh, why don't you start a Patreon or something? But I realized we're having a Patreon. I mean, that's, I mean, that's like a lot. I don't want to say a lot of work, but I don't know. I mean, I was very uncomfortable doing it, but I just find out about the super chat and super sticker from Justin, what, a couple weeks ago? So this is pretty good option for, you know, pretty easy option for us. By the way, uh, the thing about the Super Chat, obviously the YouTube takes portion of that money. So uh, just kind of like letting you guys know that you, YouTube always a piece of our action there. So uh, I think they took about 30% out. Okay. Uh, right. So um, what's the difference between this and manual lever espresso machine? So, so much. Uh, who's who's asking? D. Jackwood. D. Jackwood asking us uh, X bar versus a manual espresso machine, like manual espresso machine, like like Dino Presso, even Flare. There's no difference except this one use CO2 or bike pump. So very similar concept. Very similar concept. Um, David would ask, have you considered doing the OPV mod with your BBE? Uh, Dave asked, is a Dave asked us the overpressure valve, valve modification? On your BBE? Uh, you know what, I thought about that. Okay, but, so what, what if I do something for Bravo Brista Express? There's something, I mean, something I don't mind recommend to you guys as well. But it's not, it's not, e it's not hard, but it's not easy either. So because, I mean, I don't want you to, if you guys watch my videos and trying to uh, do something and I don't want you guys to break the machine. So that's another reason I'm not messing with it because that's something I want you to be kind of like do it at home, something easy. And comes to like replacing pump, that's something you have to replace it. But with the overpressure valve, you don't have to do it. So, but you still make good coffee. I mean, that, that's the another reason I don't mess with the overpressure valve. But yes, uh, you could actually modify it. And uh, also I'm gonna shout out to Marshall just do the super chat there as well. Uh, so the Odyssey Eduardo says is the one I would like to explore. I like yep. the idea of integrated steam. So I mean, Eduardo mentioned about the Odyssey one, OE one, and suppose you're coming out this month, uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's hard to come up with a prototype because uh, this is kind of like prototype. I know Vincent was working on it for a while 
and they got quite a few machine I know of but I'm if you guys are into coffee gadgets this is great time this is fantastic now, there's so many great uh, cool machine and gadgets man sometimes I cannot keep up with it so Dane says he'd like to see you get the roulette Bianca okay so Dane mentioned about the roulette yeah you know what Lillette Bianca is fantastic. The price is good. Okay, I think they are in the sweet spot for comes to price wise. Lillette Bianca, I have to say, they are seems like better. I don't want to say better, but give you more option than like Lydia Mini. And it's more, yeah, I mean, give you a lot more options. So if you like to, you know, play with uh, kind of pressure profile, or anything like that, the Lillette Bianca is fantastic. The well built. They give you everything. They give you a bottomless port filter, I believe. They give you a regular and bottomless as well. So that's a good machine. Um, have you looked into Gaga Classic? Uh, some, uh, who asked me that question? Azen? Azen asking me about the heavy armor looking into Gaza Classic Pro. N not really, because I already have a Rancher Leo Serbia. They're pretty much the same type of machine. Okay, Gaza Classic Pro, Rancher Leo Serbia is fantastic entry level. Yeah, they're uh, they're really good. Okay, they're really good. I mean, if you don't mind, you know, we have you have to wait for the steaming milk. I mean, they are the two best one out there, under thousand, even under six hundred. So Gaza Classic Pro is only about what five, uh, four fifty or five hundred dollars. Make sure spend money on grinder. Okay, the grinder is the key. I mean, even with the Brista Express. Uh, you're using good grinder, you're gonna get a pretty good shot. I mean, actually, really good shot. Marshall says, Come to Portland and visit Clive Coffee. They will show you all of these machines and you can film the whole thing. Yeah, uh, Marshall mentioned about the Clive Coffee. I mean, those guys are great. So, uh, I've been working with uh, Seattle Coffee Gear, not working with, but you know, I, you know, I talk to them a lot. Seattle Coffee Gear, I you know Clive, those guys are great. I mean, it's nothing like it. Nothing like just go to places and play with it. But unfortunately, in, in Tucson, there's no place like that. So you have to just get one and play with it. But yeah, the Portland, Seattle, you guys, are, you guys have the pretty good shop there. Dane says Lilith Mara X. So Lilith Mara X. That's also a really good machine too. I think they're a heat exchange. Uh, Think I think the heat exchange machine. Correct me, Armand. Andre says Quick Mill Rubino or Rocket Apartmento, really nice machine. Yep, Quick Mill Max also. The Quick Mill is not as popular as Rocket, but their machines are pretty good. So you have a lot of options. Once your budget is like between thousand and two thousand dollar range, under thousand, we don't have a lot of options. We got the Bravo Brista Pro, you know, what else? We got the Rancheria Servia, Gaza Classic, maybe three machines, maybe three or four at the most. But if you go over thousand, actually more like fifteen hundred dollars, a lot more options. Marshall says, I think there are better heat exchange machines than the Apartmento, but once you hit two thousand, you can spend a little more and get a dual broiler with a rotary. Yeah, yeah. So Marshall made a great point. So once we hit the two thousand. Guess what? You spend a few more hundred dollars more, get the, the rotary pump is awesome. Okay, the rotary pump, you can actually plumb it. So you're planning on remodeling your kitchen. Again, so, okay, so now we are talking about Brista Express, right? 600 bucks. And now you're getting into coffee as your hobby. Now you just spend $5,000. So, I mean, again, uh, that's something you have to really ask yourself. And then you have to ask your significant, uh, significant another, say, hey, is that something, are you going to be supportive? But if not, stick with Brista Express, get a good grinder. Um, okay. Nail Love is having some issues. And you got um, uh, somebody just said he wrote to you, Florian says, wrote to you at Instagram. Okay. So maybe if you go on Instagram, maybe Nail Love can... So Nail Love, why don't you, I know you send me the Instagram on it. I, I'm gonna, okay, so maybe we can do a live chat. Maybe we can figure out what's wrong with your machine. So, it, so let's do that, okay? Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna take a few more questions. Yeah. Then let's call it a day. Dane says, I third 
a dual broiler with rotary, you can still demonstrate similar stuff for all 61 machines. Yeah. I mean, again, the, the E61, E61, the Apramento does not have PID built in, but the E61 group head does a fantastic job. I mean, managing the heat. So, I mean, that puts some really good shots. Dang says you get plumbing kit, wood accents, precision tamper, dual spout portafilter, bottomless portafilter, quite good inclusion. Yeah, so I mean, the Light Bianca give you pretty much a whole set. So, I mean, for the money, I think that's the best one out there. Or I think it's, that Mara X? No, I think that's the Lilet Bianca. Yeah. I think I heard someone mention these are sold out in US. So, okay, I think we are good. I think we are good. So, how does Mirror Coffee compare to Australian coffee? So, Mirror Coffee versus Australian coffee. You know what? I mean, it's different. L let's put it that way. So, so far, I tried the uh, coffee from Indonesia and then cherry, green apple and dry fruit man I, I don't know because uh by the way i'm having mark from uh, mirror coffee on saturday morning right after our youtube live session and then we're gonna i'm gonna talk to him here about his roasting style every roaster has different style so australian, australian coffee the one i got from got ocd the owner coffee those guys are i mean those guys are competitors uh, for the World Barista Champion, so they're always pushing the boundary, uh, pushing the boundary of get, you know, get the most flavor or, you know, most flavor out of your coffee. But most, 99% of coffee roasters in this country, I know of, okay, personally, I, you know, interact with, they want to give you guys the fresh, freshest coffee as possible. So it all depends. So, I mean, kind of like, Ah, it's, it's different, okay? It's not one is better than other. It's different type of coffee. Let's put it that way. Um, Florian asks, what grinder would you update from the Express grinder? Uh, so Florian asks, uh, if you have uh, Brista Express, uh, here's the thing. I mean, if you have money to spend, single dose is fantastic, okay? I'm a big fan of single dose. So obvious uh, niche is great for the price, make sure you get it from the website, okay? Do not buy from some retailer. They will charge you over a thousand bucks. So just make sure you get it from the, their website. And the niche is good, niche is top of my list. I don't know about DF64 though, I, I have not tried. I heard some great things about it. So DF64, if you buy from AliExpress, you're looking at what, 400 bucks? So that's also, so far what I saw, that's really good. And then uh, they got some couple other grinders coming out. Again, I mean, if I were you, I'm going to wait about a few more months because a lot of coffee gadgets coming out next few months. And if not, uh, get yourself a good hand grinder. Okay, I know Commandante is fantastic. Uh, my personal favorite is the, for the price, San Antonio Industry, their meat right grinder is really good. It's about $150 range there. So that does great for french press and pour over i don't know about espresso though okay i don't know about espresso because espresso you need them more the a finer setting it's somewhat lack of it and commandante you have that option so or you know one of those high-end grinder uh anyway uh thank you so much for supporting my channel this morning uh thanks all to you guys doing the super chat and uh, it's i'm really looking forward to you know start you know, working, you know, talking to you guys more about the, the next machine for our channel. It'd be fun. It'd be fun to exploring some what's, what's out there. But meantime, uh, let's see what else. Pretty much, uh, we, again, we got some couple more unboxing coming up this week. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Again, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to do so, okay? I do a lot of behind the scene and kind of give you guys an update on what's coming. Uh, so it's fun. All right.